Hello dear friends, welcome to one more video and uh, today we're gonna have more stuffs in 3D. Well, today I'm gonna talk about um, the ways I used to support my scanner. Uh, in this case, uh, I will show how I, I secure, how I hold uh, the author. And, uh, and because I, I come from, uh, from the, the video production world uh, since 1996, um, I'm used to, 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 to deal um, with quick releases. And, uh, and nowadays, uh, the, the most common, uh, common uh, support uh, or quick release used on the, um, on the industry uh, is called uh, the Arca Swiss. The Arca Swiss has become a standard, kind of, the standard of the industry. Um, and uh, it allows you to, um, uh, to, to take away, to release uh, your accessories quite fast uh, from one uh, place to another. So, um, it's more or less a piece like this that you're gonna gonna have to screw on on the bottom of your uh, of your scanner in this case. I have already one here. Uh, it has a dovetail there, and then uh, you have the other accessory on the other part, which is this lock here. And uh, well, there are re uh, quick releases that are quicker than this one, but. Uh, this one is, uh, is also quite nice and quite fast to, to hold. Okay, and quite fast to release and then to put in another accessory just like that. So uh, I, do, I do love this uh, uh, this type of um, of quick release, and I use it all over my uh, my accessories, on cameras, on lights, on uh, right now on the scanner, and uh, in, even in uh, other things that has nothing to do with uh, with video, where I need to uh, to quick release <laughs> the thing in question. So um, in my case, so. Um, for my scanner, uh, I found this grip here on uh, Cult 3D, I think it was. I slightly modified it uh, to my needs and then I have attached uh, this Arca Swiss quick release. And uh, well, and these accessories are very easily found uh, on Amazon, on AliExpress, on Temu. Banggood, uh, well, they are all over the place right now. And uh, they are quite cheap uh, too. So for, uh, for my scanner, what do I have? I have this grip that allows me to, um, to hold uh, my, uh, my scanner quite, quite well when I'm scanning something. Uh, by hand. Then I also have this sturdy uh, mini tripod. Uh, this one is from uh, Small Rig, which is a, a quite good brand and uh, it, it's not that expensive. It's made uh, from alum aluminum or aluminium if you are in Europe. You have here the brand there and uh, I have to say, this, this video is not sponsored by any means, by anyone. I have absolutely no sponsorship uh, for my videos yet, as my channel is quite unknown and uh, quite small. Uh, this tripod allows you to rotate here and you can lock it there. And it also allows you to move freely your scanner on top of it. You 
see so uh, and uh, and then you can you can even put it even in a lower position like that and it closes and it can eventually work as a end grip too so the the only thing is that um, it is quite quite long here and that's why I've I've printed this one because as you can see it is almost flush with the with the hand when this one it's not and sometimes sometimes it knocks on on things while while scanning for my grip um, when I'm not using the scanner I've also designed and printed uh, this this holder just to hold it like that and uh, it's quite easy to to take it out and put it back in very useful and finally I have designed this uh, this piece uh, and printed and this allows me to put uh, my uh, my turntable my 20 millimeters uh, turntable in here which I have it here okay it stands there and then I can hold ah, um, this is a what is called a magic arm uh, this one is also from uh, from small rig uh, which is a brand that I like they have uh, quite good quality accessories and they are used in cinema in television productions and so on I can uh, I can grab it here like this is fixed and now I can take my scanner, put it there, like so. I can take the protection away. And for example, if we have a bigger, a bigger piece uh, where we need to have different, uh, different angles of the piece, uh, we can do it so with this uh, magic arm we can point it towards the base you can rotate it and point it towards the middle uh, if you want to scan the top you can just extend it just let me tilt up the camera for you to see so, as you can see, you can put it in different positions very, very quickly and have the best angle for the scanner and for the scan, okay? This is basically... Uh, what I have right now and I um, well I did this uh, uh, this base a little bit bigger uh, in order to accommodate uh, some accessories that are available to download on Thingiverse I think uh, I'll let the link uh, on the description below so you can you can download these and print by yourself uh, as far as I know, uh, this is free, you can download it for free and uh, the guy that has designed this has a lot of um, small pieces, small accessories that you can, you can print and uh, use. Let me just tilt down the camera again, okay, so like this you can rotate and keep the the markers and you have 
enough space here to rotate. You can even use the, the bigger brother and that's why this support is a little bigger, which is this one, also available from uh, the, same, uh, the same guy. It was also designed by the same guy. You just have to hold it. And, and there you go. And it doesn't touch, it doesn't touch here. So you have a lot of space to scan whatever you need. If you find this arm um, smaller or bigger uh, than you need, you have plenty of lengths um, available to buy uh, with the clamp, without the clamp, um, with uh, other accessories in here. Uh, in this case, it comes with a with a screw where I have screwed this um, this Arca Swiss uh, clamp. For you to see how versatile this arm can be, uh, you can uh, scan it uh, on the horizontal position. But if you need to to have your scanner on the vertical position, you also can do it easily you just have to put it on the position you want and then lock it so now you have it on the vertical position well my friends um, this video was actually um, basically actually uh, to show to you the ways I have to, to hold my my scanner in different supports uh, quite easily, quite quickly. Uh, once more, Arca Swiss um, accessories, as you can see, it holds there and uh, it really holds it. So you can, you can have all the confidence about uh, how hard the, the scanner will be will be held by, uh, by this system. Uh, and then, as you can see, I have the, the Arca Swiss all over the place. Uh, this tripod that I've talked about earlier comes already with an Arca Swiss support uh, on, on the top of it. So it comes already with this. And, uh, and yeah, uh, you have plenty of brands um, plenty of shops online or uh, even physical uh, physical shops um, probably near you uh, and normally the shops that sells uh, photographic accessories or for video uh, so you can find you can I believe you can easily find Arca Swiss everywhere and also to show you this accessory that, I, that I've designed and printed uh, just to allow me to hold this other accessory called Magic Arm. You can even fold it like this and, and keep it on your bag. So, uh, this accessory, um, I'll put it on my uh, on my Cults 3D uh, uh, page uh, profile. Uh, you can uh, you can find it there. I will let the um, the link on the description of this video uh, for you to go there and and, uh, and download this. Uh, the only uh, the only bad thing is that uh, 
this is so big um, and it's uh, in just one piece and I did it in just one piece because I have a big printer which uh, that allows me to do it uh, in my case uh, I've used um, 350 by 350 uh, bed printer um, and I don't believe you're gonna be able to, to print these uh, in a smaller bed than 350 by 350, sincerely. I don't believe. Uh, even the 300 by 300, I don't think it will be uh, big enough to, to print this part. Uh, but um, for those who want, I can also, I can also sell, uh, print and sell um, a part like this and ship it to you. Uh, just one consideration uh, You can print this PLA, P patchy, uh, ABS, ASA, whatever But uh, what I would like to suggest is in this section here uh, Because uh, it's a, It's a, a section where um, You're gonna apply a uh, quite a little bit of force because of the clamp and then the weight uh, of the scanner um, you, you, I would su suggest you to intensify the infill especially in, in this area here uh, because the clamp is really strong and uh, if you if you tighten it too, too much you risk to start breaking uh, the inner structure uh, of this uh, of this part here, that's that's the only thing I would like to suggest if you decide to to print this by yourself. So um, I think it's uh, all said in this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you like, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe my channel. I would love to, to ask you to subscribe my channel. Um, help me make it bigger. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.